Hello everybody, this is Scott, and today I'm going to be answering a question, and it's a lengthy one, not in the size, but the explanation. That was, how does an antivirus software work? This is probably one of the most confusing questions for people, and it's actually easier than you would think, but there's a lot of detail that goes into it. So, you, we're going to make this as easy as we can. So, you know how you have your security software, and it's always going to give you this pop up that's like, oh, it's out of date. You should update it right now. And then you go in there and you update it. It downloads what you, it says signatures and definitions. Now, what you're going to say is, okay, I'm safer, right? Yes. But what do they mean? A definition is specified towards a specific malware or malware family. Uh, for instance, you'll see specific de definitions for the money pack virus. The money pack virus was a, uh, and it's still actually quite prominent right now, and it's a uh, virus that takes over the computer and requires you to pay it with $200 from blah, blah, blah using like prepaid credit cards, and it's really stupid. It is a horrible scam that people fall for. And it's, it, it that's going to be a definition. And the reason is, there's only one form of the money pack virus that's actually prominent, and I am only believe that I'm aware of one that's actually large in the wild. But there's probably smaller alterations of it that are being sent out, so that would be part of its family. However, they're not prominent enough for me to actually try and include. And then a signature. Whenever you see something like that's called like Trojan Generic uh, 42 or whatever, or Zbot version Zbot 43. Uh, that's part of a family, and that's from the signature. How does a signature work? A signature, unlike a definition, can track multiple pieces of malware within the same family. So if I had the signature of the Zeus bot, which was a horrible banking trojan, which was a pretty devastating long, long time ago. If I have that definite, if I have it as a definition, it's only going to protect against that one. The the antivirus program is going to be saying, okay, that's what I need to look for. This is what it looks like. Well, with the signature, with the signature, it's going to say, okay, we know what this is and what does what has it been known to do. So instead of looking at exactly what it does, it says, okay, this is what it looks like and this is how it acts. So then they're able to make branches within the family because the family of malware is actually fairly similar. They're very similar. You won't see many changes because the goals are all the same. Zeusbot was a banking trojan. Not very prominent anymore, but it's still around. The trojan generic is just a very, very simple, large family of malware that just tries to get to your browser and take information. And then you update those every day, every uh, multiple times a day, and then it's going to give you those new definitions and signatures because there's a lot of malware in the wild. Millions and millions of samples of malware that are everywhere. While they're not very prominent and only the big ones are going to get the headlines, they're everywhere. <laughs> Even simple uh, JavaScript exploits are common. And then after you get those updates, it's going to have a scanning system. We're going to assume that it's got a more advanced scanning engine where it'll scan faster after every subsequent scan. And it's actually fairly simple. It takes those definitions and it takes those uh, signatures and it looks over the file. It says, clean. Doesn't do anything bad. Okay, gun. Done. 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 Wait, what is that thing doing? Then it's going to say, oh, potential threat detected or something stupid and then you're gonna say okay well then you're gonna wait for the end of the scan it's gonna say oh your one threat was detected and then it's gonna be like okay and you're gonna be like what is this it's gonna say like trojan seed blah 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 and then your definitions or your signatures whichever one we're going to that uh, found it are going to kill it they're gonna kill it by deleting the file because they know what it looks like they quarantine the file generally automatically, and then they delete them afterwards. And then uh, the scan system has a thing called caching. The program will basically leave invisible check marks next to files, like green check marks. And when the file has been scanned, and it's got that green check mark, the next time it goes to scan, it will skip over it because nothing has changed. It then it has a second then there's a the second option it's a grayed out it's there's no check mark there 
it either it either means that the file has been changed or the file or it means that this file has been changed in recent times and it's going to rescan it and there's like this red invisible check mark that says whoa this is a brand new file you may want to check this one out it's going to go do so and that's called a cache system it's basically how the antivirus program is able to interpret which files it has scanned to speed up that scanning time because if it didn't it would literally take hours to scan full computers and that's just that time not everyone has and then you're going to be wondering how this different shields work um, we're going to use Avast because it's a nice to got the mail shield, the PDP, uh, the mail, IM, web, network, and they all blah blah blah, they all work. Okay, it's fairly simple. You have your file system shield. Your file system shield actually monitors the files that are running on the computer, the ones that are writing, the ones that are uh, being used, and it says, it's going to go to the signatures and it's going to say, hey, is this thing doing any suspicious? And the signatures are going to be like, uh no and nope and it's gonna say okay it's clean or in the occasional it'll say yes that is strange why is it doing that and it's gonna alert you saying blah 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 has been quarantined in suspicion uh for blah blah doing this and it's gonna say oh it's part of this family and can be false positives Mo uh real programs can act maliciously it's not been never been heard of happens all the time and yet we don't really fight you can't really stop that I mean it's just common you're gonna have to deal with false positives most programs don't Komodo has a lot has a lot of false positives but it's also insanely accurate because it will find malware one way or another it's just extremely oversensitive like it's like desensitized to good programs and then you're, and then you have your network shield. Network shield is basically a form of firewall, but it doesn't work in the way of firewall. The firewall will monitor the connections. The network shield will say what files are being sent. Well, you're gonna say, well, how does that work? If I'm going to the internet, what files are being sent? Whenever you go to the internet, you're just downloading all those items in what we call temporary files or cache in the form of cookies. All that can be monitored or connections that are being sent from your computer over your shared network. Um, if you have this, you'll uh, you'll have a uh, shared folder on your network where you can access and download the files from someone else on your computer's network. It will monitor those as well. It has also never been heard. Of, it's also been heard of that it can monitor certain files that are being sent from uh, outside servers. For instance, playing a game of like World of Warcraft, all those temporary files that are being downloaded, it's going to be like, okay, okay. It's basically just like an endless like okay sign. You don't see a lot coming from the network shield. It's also been known to do web protection, which is kind of idiotic because you don't that's kind of the whole purpose of the web shield. Web shield it scans the uh, websites. Websites can have malware. Uh, it is a pain to remove malware once it's on, but it's easy to prevent. Uh, generally on websites you'll see drive-by malware uh, unless you're downloading a malicious file you'll see drive-bys. Drive-bys are trojans or um, key loggers or anything that's left in the form of in something not suspicious images widgets all these stupid little things could have a drive-by download which will install malware on your computer that the owner of the site may not have known was there or maybe they did it on purpose. However, the web shield's gonna scan it and it's gonna scan for uh, websites that have been known to cause drive-by downloads or malicious files and it blocks them. It doesn't really protect you in real time against the threats. That's where your file system shield will come in. But it's still helpful because it prevents it from getting in there in the first place. Your mail shield will scan the mail. I mean, it's just dry. It's just scanning the downloads. All of it is just very stupid, but it works in a very simple manner. It checks those definitions and signatures. It looks for what's ever being downloaded, streamed, whatever you're doing, and it says clean, clean, not clean, go, go away, clean, 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 blah, 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 etc., etc., etc. You get the point. It isn't. If you remember one thing, it's that. 
antivirus works in a very simple manner. It's caches scans, which means it's going to check files with those invisible check marks. It monitors your files by checking at the signatures. Signatures can check families, definitions, check individualized malware. Both are essential. And it will check generally with the signatures for our running processes. And during file scan, it will use both. And there you go. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below, and I will try to answer them. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.